Hello and welcome. You're watching live stream, the one show where we want to hear your voice. We want to hear what you have to say. What are your thoughts about the big stories of the day? What are your concerns? And more importantly, what are the answers to some of the questions we are facing today? And we heard you. It is Chennai not hosting any more IPL matches that so many of you have been writing to us about. Now those matches have been shifted out after those very angry protests over the Kaveri one that has left the entire state quite uh, livid there. We saw the kind of scenes that we did yesterday with a fair amount of chaos and serious security concerns outside the stadium. A question mark whether the match in fact would go ahead. Some 4,000 policemen were there on the streets and all those hundreds and hundreds of protesters. Protesters had threatened to intensify the protest after yesterday. Now political parties and fringe groups have demanded that all the IPL matches scheduled to be held in Chennai be cancelled to the centre forms the Kaveri Water Management Board. They clearly had their way. Today it was announced that those six matches are now not going ahead. The centre, they say, is playing politics over the issue and a blanket cancellation will drive the message home. In fact, one group, now take a look at this, one group with TVK even threatened to release live snakes into the stadium if no cancellation happened. So really, was it a question then on when and not if as far as that cancellation went? Let me introduce my guest this evening as we ask that uh, should matches have been moved out uh, sooner as, 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 as some people have asked and is uh, cricket just once again falling prey to politics. I'm now joined uh, in the studio by Raman Senior a Sports Journalist. Needs a little introduction. I'm coming to him in just a bit. But before that, a fair amount of disappointment this evening for those in uh, Chennai, many of them saying we sympathize with farmers, we sympathize with all those who are saying that this board needs to be formed, we need the waters of the Kaveri. But why deny us the IPL? Strong indications that the remaining six IPL matches scheduled to be held in Chennai could be shifted out to other cities. This after massive protests witnessed in Chennai yesterday, very close to the stadium where the match was held. And uh, today, the same group led by veteran director Bharati Raja have announced that they will intensify their protests and they consider the IPL matches in Chennai as a huge uh, diversion to divert the attention of youngsters who at the moment across the state are on a protest mode demanding the constitution of the Kaveri Management Board. And they say their target is not IPL really, but uh, in their view, the central government is... Uh, defying the Supreme Court order by not forming the Kaveri Management Board and this is the only way they feel they could draw the attention of the central government and in a way shame them to implement the Supreme Court order. With me, two cricket fans here, thank you so much for your time. How do you see this? The remaining six matches could go out of Chennai. Uh, like, uh, without, uh, without the fans, uh, Chennai Super Kings uh, won't perform as well as how they performed till now. Uh, like even the totals would go down because because I think CS, CS, uh, Chennai pitches are the only one which produce totals of about 250, 200 but uh, other pitches don't produce that much. Before I move on uh, to the other voices that we have, very quickly I know that uh, you know you can't really tell, no one has this crystal ball to tell us what's happening uh, as far as the cricketers go but from your experience, just the cricketers themselves, will they be relieved? that there are no security concerns? Will they be like that fan They said, worried about their performance because that young man was quite confident that performance is not going to be the same if they're not playing at home? I think they will perform wherever they are, they are mm. meant to. They're professional cricketers. Mm. They'll per perhaps perform better if there's no mental stress. Mm. Uh, they must have seen visuals on television and mm. uh, it can be scary mm. because we show maybe 15 second clips and mm. when this gets reinforced, those 15 second clips of mm. buses being burnt or, mm. or things being upset, mm. it can leave a deep impact on the minds of mm. cricketers, especially those who come from overseas. Mm. And I think it's our responsibility first to protect mm. the, so you're the physical security. Uh, uh, no, it, it's not a great move, yes. but it, there is it no option left. There, it has to be and done. And you're not surprised that it has played out. It doesn't way. come as a shock mm. because uh, sport has always been used as a political tool. I want to talk to you about that in just a bit, but I'm just told that we've got uh, uh, our first uh, video caller of the day. We're just going to... Uh, listen in uh, to this caller. Cricket has not only entertained us but made us feel proud of our sporting culture. Its contribution has brought laurels to the country and money to its board and the players. Cricket's recognizable face has made it impossible to be ignored. Political parties sees it as a you know way to settle scores 
and make it as a scapegoat. And undeniably, cricket stature and reach has made it as a soft target. Chennai's water woes can never end through cricket's cancellation, but discussion between parties. If cricket's cancellation can drive home the message, then it will find no venue safe as every state has its shares of problems. Solution lies in centers and states' coordination and proper planning. Very articulate and well said. That was Nagin Singh. Based before I go to my next caller, uh, Raman, that, that's a good point that, you know, every state has its own problems. Are they all going to now say that, you know, stop playing in our states, plus stop playing in our home grounds because we've got to resolve this? I mean, people are basically asking, where did this end? Uh, the political parties will lose out in the end because uh, cricket fans are also voters. Mm. Uh, it might seem like only 40,000 people or 50,000 people are sitting in a stadium. Mm. So it's a very small constituency. Mm. No, but cricket has got a larger constituency. Mm. It can affect politics. Mm. I think people will realize that sooner than later. Okay. Uh, but Tamil Nadu has not understood it. Maybe the tom politicians of Tamil Nadu haven't. At least the, the fringe politicians haven't. Right. Um, it's sad. But um, we've got to live with this. And I think the security of the players is... Paramount, it's paramount. You know, the cricket economy I will take no, care of itself. There's just no knowing that. But we're getting callers, not surprisingly, many uh, from Chennai. Just let's listen in uh, uh, to what this uh, caller from Chennai uh, is saying. This is Natarajan. Thanks for calling. Uh, you want to make a point? Yeah, I would like to make a point to ask these people who are protesting even today that whether they can stop screening all the films, they can stop all the liquor shops. Why only attack sports? Number one. Second question is, Chennai consistently has been having decent rains. Mm. So, forget about Kaveri. Why can't you create something to store water over a longer period of time? Because this has been happening for 25 years. Nobody talks about that. Mm. So, it is purely political. This, all these film people and politicians are doing it. So, we have to ask them the question back. Stop all films for one month. Till such time the Kaveri body is formed. Will they do that? Stop all liquor shops. You will not get revenue. So, they will not touch all that. Right? This is my question to these people. Okay, fair enough. I mean, um, again, uh, you know, I, I, I want to just uh, come to uh, for this. Is where does this end? Again, same thing. Why cricket? Why sports? Why not? You know, why not? It's, it's not a level playing field. He's saying, what about films? What about stores and, and all about that? But is that because we have precedents in the past where cricket has suffered? So, Nat Natasha, cricket is very mm. visible. It's mm. on television. Mm. So, cricket will become a, a target mm. for everything. Mm. Uh, look at uh, how a court for example, moved matches out of Maharashtra last mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. The year before, they said drought, that the farmers don't have water. Mm -hmm. How can you even water the pitches and, and the ground? So you can't have matches here. Mm -hmm. So cricket is a very visible target and mm -hmm. it's got to live with it. I think uh, it reflects, the, uh, like CLR James, a West Indian mm -hmm. sociologist pointed out, cricket is played in a society, it's not played in vacuum. Mm -hmm. And it reflects the society in which it's mm -hmm. played. And what we are seeing in Chennai is, is, uh, is, is what we should have expected all along. Yeah. Because Chennai is a volatile place, uh, a chief minister, a film star dies, lakhs and thousands of people are on, thousands and thousands of people are on the street. Um, there is violence when something like this happens. So there is a history in, in Tamil Nadu. Okay. It's not the first time, at least the players are safe and I think that, that, is, that is something to be thankful for. Okay. Well, this is enough. players are safe. There's something to be thankful for. We don't play cricket in a vacuum. This is another caller. This is Susie. Uh, again, calling us uh, from Chennai. Susie, thanks for your time. You want to make a point? Yeah, I just want to say I'm really, really disheartened. Uh, I'm from Chennai. This was the first ever IPL match I was going to watch. And now my hopes are shattered. I know. I, I, I can imagine. It's, it's a, a tough place, really, to be. We've got so many of you from Chennai this evening calling in uh, to, to say that we sympathize happening we, we, we stand by with the farmers who are in desperate need of this water but again what does that have to do with cricket and that big question what does it have to do with cricket but the point of course being made is you really can't separate is it, it's not really black and white well I know that we're going on talking about uh, Chennai and those are where we're getting the callers in but what about Kolkata my colleague Sagnik in fact uh, spoke to some people in the city because this is about one city losing out but it's also about the larger story about cricket lovers and could it be their city or their teams tomorrow let's listen into what Kolkata had to say after the high voltage match between KKR and Chennai last night, IPL is likely to be moved out of Chennai. So let's hear it from people of Kolkata what they think about this issue. Do you think uh, politics is being masked with cricket? It seems like it, doesn't it? Uh, because uh, 
And if you look at the you know broader aspect of the uh, picture, uh, the Kaveri River and uh, cricket has got no issues. Uh, you know, you can't bring them together in any uh, means or chance. I, I don't know why they're bringing it together, and uh, they're obviously uh, it's going to have the aftermath as well. Uh, the people are going to get deprived, and uh, it doesn't make any sense to me at all. Okay, so do you think uh, this will have an effect on the cricket fans? Look, we wait for this tournament for years. Because there are many international players who come and play. We can play it. There are many cricketers who also learn from this game. So, with that, there is no issue of particular reason. There is no issue of the state. There is no issue of the state. और उसके साथ खेला को बंद करना अरे ऐसा भी तो नहीं है ये खेला बंद होने से ये सॉल्व सॉल्व हो जाएगा तो हम लोग इसमें डिप्राइव भी हो रहा है कि अच्छा खेला नहीं देख सक रहा है अच्छा बहुत सारे आदमी हैं जो इससे जुड़ा हुआ है उन लोगों का भी परेशान होते परेशानी में पड़ता है वो लोग एज अ क्रिकेटर वट डू थिंक डू थिंक दिस विल एफेक्ट द यंग क्रिकेटर्स लाइक यू हाँ ये तो हो भाई ये जे अगर क्रिकेट के अंदर पॉलिटिक्स घुस जाए तो क्रिकेट क्रिकेट नहीं रहेगा ठीक है वो भी पॉलिटिक्स बन जाएगा so clear from uh, people of Kolkata that politics should not be masked with cricket and the cricket fans out there should not be deprived of IPL. In Kolkata, Jiri Shankar, Shagnik Sina, NDTV.